If you're watching this video on YouTube, then the next episode is already available on Patreon.com forward slash LS11Universe. Hey LS11 Universe, it's Xander, and welcome back to SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 GM Mode. Last time we had our Great American Bash pay-per-view, which was a four-star show, wow. Or no, three-and-a-half star show. Four-star, three-and-a-half, three-and-a-half, three, four-and-a-half, three, three, four four wow. So the current goal now is we need to get some money to try and re-sign Ric Flair which I don't think is going to happen. Probably. We re-signed Mark Henry. Is he a heel or a face? I can't tell. Um, so Ric Flair is currently at 77 popularity. So we might trade him off. I was enjoying having him on the show. But at the same time. Let's try and boost his popularity a little bit here. With uh, some show invasions. And. Uh, okay Ric Flair. That gets him to 85, doesn't it? Don't want to boost him too much. I mean, it just kind of depends. Uh, not a paper re commercial. Do two other brand invasions, because we get him to a decent popularity, we can probably get two guys for him instead of... That's plus 13 to his popularity, which puts him at 90, doesn't it? Wow, he's now one of our top guys unintentionally. Whoops. Um, we could probably get some good people for him from Raw, though. So 90. Couldn't get The Rock... Probably couldn't get Shawn Michaels, could we? You don't think we could get Shawn Michaels, do you? I ain't even mad. Oh, but of course, they just... We're only going to have Michaels for a week, aren't we? Freaking coachman. I should have checked. Should have checked. I have a feeling Mickey James is going to be on the uh, free agency at the end of the week. Maybe even Marcus Corbon. Because they sometimes they won't resign their lower popularity guys. If they just don't want to. Oh, I, sh I could have Wait. How many weeks does he have on his contract? Feel, feel cheated. I feel cheated. I keep just doing other brand invasions because they help. Uh, we want to boost Mark Henry and MVP because we're going to do the Hurt Business, I've decided. With Mark Henry, MVP, and Bobby Lashley. Do another one here with Lashley. Get him some popularity. Cannot believe I just got Xandered on that one. I swear if mine is like, can I have a title match? Okay, so Mark Henry and MVP both want title shots. William Regal wants another mat. Wants a... Yeah, okay. So who else? Uh, wait, where's Roddy Piper? Roddy Piper is like, loss after loss really hurts. Okay, so... Oh, I've still got that one going. Whoops. Um, so SummerSlam. I think the obvious choice is to do John Cena versus MVP Mark Henry... And Bobby Lashley. So the obvious choice is for the Hurt Business to beat up John Cena. Hmm. Not William Regal, whoops. Oh, I guess they've got to be legends, don't they? They've both got to be legends? That's dumb. Uh, let's see. 
Do number one contender here. We got Shawn Michaels now, so we can do Shawn Michaels. Let's see. Cruiserweight Clyde. Um, you know what? Oh, we'll just run with only those two stories for now. Because um, I don't even know if we're going to have Sean at the end of the episode. Um, so, the main, let's do a three-on-one handicap. Where John Cena will fight the Hurt Business. Look, we don't have Shelton Benjamin, so Mark Henry will have to do. Do some uh, merch sponsorships. We need money. We've got to re-sign Sean before his contract expires. All right, you know what? Hardcore match. Have Shawn Michaels make his debut against... Not William Regal. Why do I keep clicking William Regal? Undertaker in a U.S. title match as well. Why, why not? Um, bu -bu -bum. Main event. Put the No, let's not put the world title on the line. Main event. We do a Fatal 4-Way. Um, Randy Orton. CM Punk. Me. And... Uh, I don't know. Uh... Jeff Hardy, I don't know. <laughs> Do a tag team match where tag team champions Mick Foley and Terry Funk can fight William Regal and Chris Matt. No, Chris Masters is still really low on popularity. I haven't had a I haven't had a chance to build him up yet. Roddy Piper and we don't have Ric Flair anymore. Crap. Um Roddy Piper and Steve Austin. I don't know. And then we've still got one more match. So we'll do... Matt Hardy versus... Versus JTG with Shad in his corner. And I think that gets everyone except Chris Masters on the show, but that's fine. Okay. So, Heart Business versus Cena. Okay, cool. Cena didn't win. LOL there. Shawn Michaels. Okay, we got a new US champion. I did not mean to click watch. Crap. Well, and what I'm sure was a five-star classic, Matt already got the win. Let's see. Tag team match. Uh, okay. And the main event. Sure. Sign him back now. There. We are not letting him get out of here. That could have ended badly. And he's our U.S. champion. So we'll give him that back. So did Raw re-sign their guys? No, they've still got Bret Hart, Ric Flair, Batista, and King Booker and everyone for a week. So we'll see what happens, I guess. I am glad that we grabbed um, Shawn Michaels, though. Oh, great. Now Jeff, Matt, Masters, JTG, and Shad are all having contracts expiring. Great. Oh, God. Apparently, you can get to a point where you don't have to worry about money. In this game. I'm not to that point. Because I've now got six guys. Five guys. Five? Five guys that are about to have expiring contracts. I have no money to re-sign them with. So I might need to trade off Crime Time, the Hardy Boys, and Chris Masters. Let's see how Raw did. Raw did two and a half. ECW did three and a half. Wow. It's all because of the Kali, the Kali match, isn't it? Oh, they had Edge and Triple H. I see. 
we did three so we're doing we're doing better every day all right let's run an interference promo uh i wanted to boost chris masters up anyway so we'll go ahead and do that with him as my dog is starting to go ballistic outside as usual um wait check the free agency I had a feeling she was going to pop up there. I already have a full roster? Really? Wow. I guess that does, there is a limit to how many people you can have. How about that? Alright, I would like to get rid of Chris Matt. I'd, I'd like to either boost him up or get rid of him. Let's sort it back by popularity here. He's at 67, so he's not our least popular guy anymore, at least. Um, I like how the Hardy Boys and Crime Time are all here as well. Um, so Mickey James is the only free agent. Um, let's look at ECW here. Did they re-sign everyone? They did. They re-signed Triple H. I want Triple H. I really do. Raw, on the other hand, did not sign Mickey James. The Rock's at 93. You don't think if I gave Raw three people, they'd give me The Rock? Do you? you don't think they're that stupid, right? Like, if I gave them Chris Masters and Crime Time. You don't think, right? I didn't think so. Okay, let's see, because I, I think it's probably time to get rid of Crime Time and uh, Chris Masters. Hardy Boys, I want to keep around, but, like, let's look at popularity here. Um, glad I have my um, messenger muted, because getting a getting a video call. Uh, okay, let's see here. Um, I'll just put this on the other screen. So having having darker applications open on my screen makes it oh no 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 i come in bed okay so let's just look at who they've got uh we could probably get johnny nitro back on our show i liked having him oh but his contract's about to expire so we definitely want to look at contracts as well um raw has some people Batista. You think if I gave them uh, that same set of people, they would give me Batista? Maybe just crime time for Batista, you think? Nope. Okay, well, we'll build Chris Masters up just a little bit more before he goes. Just so we can try and get at least one person for him. Alright, let's look what his pop popularity is now. Because, like, I know... I know the thing is you don't want to build people up too much like because then the other shows can just swipe them from you and the other shows will prosper with them but like Chris Masters I think at like high 80 or mid 80 would be fine like his contract expires this episode so we got him built up to a nice and cool 80 popularity Mickey James, poor girl, is just sitting at the free agency. Um, so he's at a nice 80. So I thought it is. Let's see. ECW. ECW's got a lot of popular people. Okay, so maybe. Just maybe. And I'm going to try this again as a joke. Like, I don't think it's actually going to work. But, like, it would be kind of funny... If I could somehow give them Crime Time and Chris Masters, they give me Edge. I didn't think so. I didn't even realize I was still trading with Dreamer either. I was trying to go to Raw. Okay, so we're not going to get The Rock, clearly. What about Batista? I think maybe I could get it just there with the five popularity difference. Okay, so the first few minutes here are me just trying to figure this out. Okay, so... Anyone 80 and below I can get. Okay, maybe if I went Batista, 
and I gave them okay here we go. Chris Masters and Crime Time. So Chris Masters, JTG, and Shad. For Batista and and Ashley. Literally one of their lowest popularity people. No. Okay, so what do I want to do here? Because I'd like to get a bigger name. I feel like the the smarter option is just go for someone similar similar popularity. I don't want Carlito. Nitro's contract will expire the very next episode. Umaga, maybe. Maybe I could upsell for someone like Rick Rude. For Chris Masters, that's a five popular difference. And JTG and Shad. So only a five popularity difference, and I'm giving them more people, and then give me Michelle McCool. I don't know. Nope. Okay, I really, I, I gotta figure something out here. Sabu, Great Kali, Maga. Just... How many weeks these people have left is another important thing here. Nope. Okay. Um, so we got Chris Masters to 80, and I know you guys are probably tired of watching me fumble around here. Wait, 80. We can get King Booker for that. Yeah, King Booker has 77. Okay, so King Booker. That's only a three difference. 73. Seventy-three. Okay, and then I didn't see what Shad had actually. Shad has seventy-one, and hmm. Between Marcus Corvon, Snitsky, or Candace Michelle. One of these three. I've got a dice. Okay. One and four is Snitsky. Two and five is Marcus Corvon. Three and six is Candace. Six. There we go. Mr. Kennedy, Candace Michelle, and King Booker. I've got Candace Michelle because the women are good to use in these games are good to use as like a way to um just get more people as bad as that sounds okay and people are liking the hurt business story so that's good okay so i think the main event this week do a six man no 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 um Do a one on one. Hmm. Yeah, one on one normal match between John Cena and Mark Henry. Excuse me. Do some merch sponsors. Gotta re sign the Hardys. have ourselves a six-man tornado tag match you know what now let's make the main event a six-man tag so six-man tag uh, normal tag John Cena will bring along some backup in the form of Rey Mysterio and Shawn Michaels against the Hurt Business
Didn't we just get Booker? I think we did. Yeah, we did. King Booker. So let's do King Booker versus The Undertaker in a U.S. title match. Wait. Oh, right. Shawn Michaels is champion. Duh. Forgot about that. Hmm. Seriously forgot I did that. It's been a day already. Uh, King Booker versus Steve Austin. Fatal 4-Way. Um, Fatal 4-Way Steel Cage. The Cruiserweight Championship. Xander. CM Punk. Jeff Hardy. And... We have Rey Mysterio on the show. Already have Shawn Michaels. Um, Matt Hardy. Next, we do one on two. Manager, or with manager, or without manager. Candice Michelle can be in the corner of someone. As we have Mr. Kennedy taking on William Regal. Then, Roddy Piper can fight Terry Funk. Opening matchup, Terry Funk wins. Mr. Kennedy with the win, who's going to be Cruiserweight Champion. It's Matt Hardy, which means the title's about to go vacant. King Booker with the win. I'm not sure if we play this. Let's just simulate it for now. Hurt Business continuing their winning ways. There we go. We got, we got Jeff and Matt back. Uh, Cruiserweight title. I guess Matt had it. I guess. Okay. So, let's... Um, we got three stars, okay. We're getting better and better every episode. ECW had three and a half stars. And Raw had three and a half stars. Wow, Raw had three and a half stars. Great. So even when we win, we lose. Okay. So... It's time to start building some of our lower card guys here. So let's build Mr. Kennedy. Kennedy! He announces himself to the ring. I love it. I can't help but love it. The goal is to eventually get Triple H on the show. I really want Triple H, okay? Like, get off my back. I, Triple H is one of my favorite wrestlers. Regal needs some popularity. Uh, the Hurt Business needs popularity. And no, I'm not going to make King Booker join the Hurt Business. That would be incredibly insensitive to just make him join because of the color of his skin. That would be stupid. Alright, let's see here. We've got a really popular roster. It's just like these three are the only ones below 70. So let's have Regal get some popularity here. Alright. Other brand invasion. I just like doing the other brand invasion to help with the fan support. All right, so that's plus 13 for Regal right there. And I'm not trying to trade Regal off either. 75, so that's good. So MVP and Candice Michelle need some fan popularity here. Like, we've got a pretty solid scene here. I haven't checked Power 25 in a couple weeks, have I? Oh, wow, we only have 1, 2, 3, 4. That's a problem. 5, 6, 7. Eight. Wait, Mark Henry's worked his way in there. So we have a lot of people in the Power 25. We got one, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We've locked down 11 of the spots. And like, here's our power 15. Raw has just. Raw's got The Rock and Bret Hart, and ECW's got Triple H. I want The Rock and Triple H. Man, Bret Hart has been dominating Power 25. It's ridiculous. I didn't mean to go to WWE.com. Whoops. Oh, wow, there's actually an article about the trade. That's kind of funny. Oh, are we seriously tanking more? We were beating ECW for a minute. We're, we're below ECW. How the hell do I turn this around? Okay, we gotta have us a blockbuster world heavyweight title main event. Okay, and hear me out here. The Hurt Business is Bobby... Wait, is, is the Hurt Business feed still going after making... Yeah, they were a six-man tag. Of course it is. Okay, a blockbuster main event for the World Heavyweight Championship. A triple threat match. A triple threat... Hardcore match where champion Randy Orton defends against the Hurt Business's Bobby Lashley and John Cena. And we'll play that match. <laughs> New superstar. Wait, how much more popularity did the Jeff? Wow, Matt is higher than Jeff. What is this, 2016? Right, interview space, this will help boost some popularity. So let's have an interview with Jeff Hardy, who's the new second lowest guy on the roster. Candice Michelle, I'm not terribly worried about because the goal is to trade her off anyway. Um, hardcore Triple Threat Tornado Tag, where we'll do the Hardy Boys. The Hurt Business. And... And I can't do a tag title match like that, unfortunately. But we can do um, the we can put the champions in there. A two on two tag match. This could be fun here. Xander and Stone Cold versus CM Punk and Roddy Piper. Do a title match hype for the main event. Try and build some more. Um, try and build some more hype for it. Do a one-on-one -on -one match between. Yep, can't. Yep. Well, why not? I'm kidding. Um, HBK versus King Booker for the U.S. title because King Booker beat the Undertaker last week. That makes sense. Oh, yeah, William Regal and Mr. Kennedy both aren't on the show yet. So another triple threat between The Undertaker, Mr. Kennedy, and William Regal. I believe that gets everyone on the show except Candace Michelle. All right, confirm. Yes. So, opening match, probably Undertaker. Yep. U.S. title, we have a new champion. Nope. Tag team match. Oh, hell yeah. Tag team match. Which tag team gets the win? Ooh, tag team champions get the win. All right, we're going to actually... Uh... Okay. All right. This is going to be interesting. Hopefully this keeps the heart business feud going. Is like hopefully you don't have to have handicap matches and six-man tags every week, right? Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. There he is. Hey, nothing you can say. Nothing's gonna change what you've done to me. Now it's time to shine. I'm gonna take what's mine while you're burning inside my lights. 
Okay, so we're actually doing this. A six or a triple threat world title match on SmackDown. Lashley, Cena, and Orton. Hey, at least it changes things up. Oh, Lashley goes right for Cena. Orton's like, I ain't even really part of this. I'm just here to retain the title. Oh! Cena wants the title, though, doesn't he? Come on, John. Sit your ass down. Oh, holy! Go on, John. Get out of here, Randy. I just broke that sledgehammer. To show you the power of Bobby Lashley, I broke this sledgehammer in half. Come on, get get over here, Randy. God dang it. I can't tell what's going on. The camera was just really wonky for a second there. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh, he's got him up in the FU! Oh no! Oh no! They're after me because I'm the Almighty! Get down, boy. Sit your ass down, John. Oh, that German. Oh, the Lashley German suplex in this game is sick. Oh, Cena's got the barbed wire stick. Uh oh. I'm gonna laugh when Orton just retains or Cena wins out of nowhere. Oh, wait a minute. Lashley's got the world title in hand. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Ow! That, that did it. Get in here, John. Come on, John. We have a match, boy. Basic thugonomic self. Come over here. Hey, Randy. Hey, Randy, you looking for this? You looking for my title? For my world title? Oh, I'm going to hit John in the face with it for you. Let me, let me do the spear. Let me do the spear. Let me do the spear. Okay, Dominator, coming in. Coming in hot.
Get up, ref. Get up, ref. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow. Randy. See what you did. Ugh. Yeah, get up, boy. Yeah, get up. Get up. Huh. Cover him, Bobby. Yeah, you give Lashley that belt. That's how it's done. The Hurt Business has its first piece of gold. Lashley is the new World Heavyweight Champion. Oh yeah. How's this going to continue? You guys are going to find out next week. Let's see how we did in the ratings. Okay. How do we do? So first of all, Raw. Three and a half star shows. Probably because of Chris Master. Oh, they re-signed Mickey James. Um... Good to see our former stars, Crime Time, and um, and Chris Masters are doing well. Same with Ric Flair. Is Bret Hart all the champions? Apparently, ECW only got two stars. Uh, I guess these empty matches probably dragged down the dragged down the average. Rick Rude won the title. Okay. Then we, oh yeah, three and a half. We're back in business, baby. Nothing lower than a three-star match tonight. Imagine we've got Triple H on the roster, too. Oh, it's going to be so good. Okay, let's get to Raw. Let's check how we're doing in the Power 25. Alright, we're crawling our way up with Stone Cold. HBK's getting up there. Lashley's up there. Also, if you missed last episode, uh, Bobby Lashley is the new World Heavyweight Champion. It's a... Uh, um, you know, it'll make sense eventually. Fan support. Uh, it looks like we're going back up. Okay, baby, we're going back up. ECW's below three million. We're gonna pass ECW. It's not not hard to do, I'm sure, but like, you know. All right, let's look at our roster. Contract wise, Terry Funk expires in two weeks. Let's go ahead and re-sign him while we can. Regal's unsatisfied. I'm becoming a bigger... Okay, uh, yeah, go ahead. Resign you. There we go. Regal! Oh, he's still... He's also been losing a lot, I guess, yeah. See, I haven't been losing every... Okay, you've been losing every week because it's part of the story, John. Just accept it, bro. Home, home dog? Doctor of Thugonomics? I don't know. Right, let's do um, let's do another brand invasion with MVP. Get some popularity in him because we want him and Lashley to win the tag titles soon. Maybe even bring in a fourth member to the Hurt Business to win the to win the uh, U.S. title, or maybe just have MVP become a double champion. That could be cool. Or Mark Henry, actually. Mark Henry, I would take real seriously as a double champion. I love Mark Henry though. So Okay, MVP is coming up there in the in the uh, popularity. He's at seventy now. Let's do one of these with uh, Mark Henry. We got to do like a trophy day or something with Jeff Hardy soon too, because he's a little low on the popularity scale right now. Seventy. Okay, MVP is at seventy-five. Mark Henry is at eighty-seven. Wow. Mark Henry's better than a lot of people on the roster right now, popularity-wise. He's catching up. He's tied with Cena. How about that? Okay, and so... we got one last thing we can do. We can do... Let's do one more other brand invasion with Jeff Hardy. Brother Nero. There we go. Plus five fan popularity. Go ahead and do the GM desk. And this week, we're going to do um, interview space... Get Michelle to build up her popularity so we can eventually try and trade her off for someone. Let's do a... Um, let's do a...
Did I not make the heart business in here? I did. There. Oh, it's got to be a stable. That's stupid. Um, that's annoying. Okay. Um, let's do a interference, maybe? Yeah, interference. Why not? Send Regal to run interference for us. All right, so we're going to have here in our main event. Hold on. Okay. So let's see. Um, do we want to have Mark Henry win the U.S. title, or should I have Mark Henry MVP win the tag titles? Uh, let's do a, yeah, main event. We're going to do a one-on-two hardcore with manager versus hardcore without manager. Shawn Michaels. He's going to be defending the World Heavyweight title, or not the World Heavyweight title, the um, the U.S. title against Mark Henry. Further down the card, in a tag team match, John Cena is going to team up with his rival Randy Orton to try and take on the World Heavyweight Champion Bobby Lashley and the leader of the Hurt Business, MVP. Yes, MVP is pulling double duty. We're going to do a um, we're going to do a fatal four way, normal fatal four way between CM Punk, me, and the Hardy Boys again because we only have so many cruiserweights. Oh, we're in MVP. We're in we're in MVP's hometown. Cool. So good. It's a cruiserweight title. Then let's have William Regal in a match that hopefully he can win. Uh, so to do that, we'll put him with two people. Put him in a six-man tag with two people that he could probably uh, do well teaming with. He'll team up with Steve Austin and um, Steve Austin and how about Rey Mysterio against Mr. Kennedy, The Undertaker, and Roddy Viper. In the opening matchup, we can do a tag team title match or just a tag team match I don't know where Mick Foley and Terry Funk will fight the team of King Booker and mm, we already got Mr. Kennedy on the show I think we're already using everyone King Booker and who else who can we make pull double duty and it'll be fine Um, I don't know. Just have have Booker and Mr. Kennedy team up. Have Mr. Kennedy be the workhorse of the night. Okay, that matchup. Okay, gives Regal the win. Cruiserweight title match. We've got another new cruiserweight champion. Hurt business. No, Cena gets a win. Here we go. And I'm gonna play as Mark Henry to make sure. It's the Heartbreak Kid. Wait. How am I going for 43 minutes? I just... Did I not just record a super long episode? This is the same episode where Lashley won the World Heavyweight title, isn't it? That was supposed to be two different episodes. Crap. Oh well. It's fine. I'm known for going over time with this. It's fine. I probably need to quit recording soon because the sun is coming out. It was storming earlier, so it was... It's easier to record at night when I have the green screen because there's, no, there's not much light coming in, but when the light's coming in, it's fluctuating throughout the day. It makes the green screen get all grainy like it is up there. So this is probably the last thing I record. Let's try and get the let's try and get the hurt business some more gold. They've already got the world heavyweight title. Part of me kind of thinks I'm gonna go mar mod Mark Henry into 2K19 after this, just so I can see what it would look like with the hurt business. 
which I guess I could also just go download MVP on 2K20. I haven't played 2K20 in six months. Almost eight months, actually. All right. Ugh, get over here. Mark Henry is freaking awesome. I love Mark Henry so much. Mark Henry, one of the most underrated performers WWE has ever had, if you ask me. Like, guys that should have been WWE champion, not just World Heavyweight champions. Like, Mark should have won the WWE title from John Cena in 2013 when he did that fake retirement speech. Like, man, could you imagine? And you're done, Sean. All right. I see how it is, big man. Heartbreak kid, I know how it is. I see how it is. But you can't. You're not the world's strongest man, though, HBK, are you? You're not the world's strongest man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nope. You ever seen Mark Henry do that? No, not before tonight, you haven't. Mark Henry, he's part of the hurt business now. He's a CEO in the Hurt Business. So he's going to kick all the ass. He's going to make sure that somebody gets the ass kicked. You're going to get your ass whipped. Come on now. Somebody going to get the wig split. Welcome to the Hall of Pain, Sean. Boom! Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Okay, I see what you're doing now. Go ahead then, Sean. Yeah, come on! Get you some of Mark Henry. I wasn't trying to get back in the ring. Go ahead, flop, flop for me like you did for Hogan. I weirdly like to trash talk when I play this game, no matter who I'm playing as. You guys heard me trash talking when I was playing as me. When I hit CM Punk with the GTS. Or uh, when I was Lashley in the last match that we did. Oh, you're gonna taunt. You're gonna taunt like you're a sexy boy. Sit your ass down. Sit, sit it down. Okay. Go on then. Get out of here. Hit him with shell shock, Mark. Good lord. This is actually kind of insane. Sean keeps running the counters here. Get up. Alright, you're done. Out of here. New United States Champion. New U.S. Champion. All right, then. That's how it's done. Your winner and the new... United States Champion, representing the Hurt Business, Mark Henry. Look at that. World's Strongest Man. World United States Champion. Oh, the, the Hurt Business. Oh, yes. I'm so glad I'm doing this.
Uh, following the eight man matches were in this game, and we didn't have to wait till two K eighteen for where they were introduced. Hurt business with a real good night in the end. They got the U.S. title. How did we do this week? Raw got two and a half stars. Okay, we're slowly withering away at Raw. We got to wrestle The Rock and Bret Hart, or, or Bret Hart from them. ECW did three. We did three and a half again. Look at that. Four star main event. Nothing lower than three stars on our show. Watch out now, rest. Watch out now. Oh, the Hurt Business rivalry went away. What, did Cena have to be in a match with every single one of them every week? Oh, well, we can we can still do the Hurt Business story. It's fine. What's Triple H at now? Oh, he's at 86. Oh, he's at 86. Okay, um, let's, let's look at the roster. Um, who can we build up? Um, okay. F it, I'm building up Mr. Kennedy real quick. I want Triple H. You all know, he's one of my favorites. Oh, thanks, Vince. Okay. Okay. Uh, Kennedy. Kennedy! Kennedy! Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. This is the, this is the best chance we've got to get him. Full state fan popularity. Okay. 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 Close stretch. Raw. Or no, excuse me. It's ECW. ECW. 86. Mr. Kennedy. Where's he at? Where'd he go? Okay, so we might actually try and get, like, The Rock? Okay, so The Rock has been, and yes, this is a dangerous, dangerous game I'm playing here. I'm walking a scary line with how I'm doing this. Oh, no. Oh, he wasn't supposed to get a big success on two in a row. He's got 99. You know what? We can get multiple people for him, though. Give me the rock. And No, wait. I, I wouldn't be able to do that because we're going to have too full of a roster at that point. Okay. Um, I will give you 99 popularity, Mr. Kennedy. And I'll give you 68 popularity, Candace Michelle. And just as a as a free extra little bonus here, I'm trying to decide honestly. So I feel like Kennedy. Uh, hmm. Do I want Rock or Triple H? I mean, personally, I want Triple H, but like, maybe I just throw in Candace Michelle. Let me shoot my shot and see if I get Batista. I didn't think so. Okay, but we can get Rock, though. And that... Oh, man. We get Rock away from him, that's the top guy in the Power 25. That's a fair trade, isn't it? A Rock for Mr. Kennedy. We got the Rock. Of course, now they're going to push Mr. Kennedy to the moon, so, you know... But, like, now the guy at the top of the Power 25 is on my roster. Although they have Mr. Kennedy now, who is also in the Power 25, and I didn't realize that. Whoops. Wow, how many people do we have at the Power 25? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Wow, we have more than half of the Power 25. It's pretty good. ECW, Triple H is at 86. Do we have anyone we can part ways with for him? Ah, man, you know. My dad would disown me if I got rid of Roddy Piper. Hmm. I think we're just going to build up Candace Michelle to get Triple H. Although, we'll do that next time. I need to end the episode. Sorry about that. I'll see you guys for the next episode. Special thanks to all $5 and above patrons listed here. Your support means the world to us, and we could not do this without you.